I had some problems uh, this evening uh, by making a good YouTube video and when you watch my video of today you could see that it zoomed in and out uh, extensively so there was a big problem of course I can buy a new camera of course no problem at all but uh, I first tested all my old cameras they are here this is the camera with which I made my first YouTube videos this camera I've bought on the flea market tested but doesn't work not uh, HD high definition also this Koda camera not high definition but I found on the bench in my barn more or less this camera the, the Pentax Optio E30 and it proved to be a quite good camera 7.1 megapixels uh, the camera was made approximately 10 years ago and uh, the problem with this camera was that um, it did not last long on batteries a few minutes only on a, on, a, on a fully charged battery or five minutes that was not good so uh, these cameras were uh, more or less thrown away or set apart but now uh, there is a more or less urgence to find a new camera for my youtube videos and uh, that was the reason that I wanted to refurbish this Pentax Optio camera very good camera it makes extremely good pictures and the video quality VGA it makes VGA files is also quite good not as good as the camera that I use now but anyway so I uh, had to make a circuit to solve this problem uh, the always depleted battery so here was the circuit that I made two nickel cadmium batteries pushed in into the camera like always but now here a wire is soldered uh, from the positive here we have a wire and uh, the negative here we have a wire and this is the protective diode and here we have a kind of very coarse Zener diode so that we can um, charge the batteries at the same time I'm doing that now here you see all these diodes acting as a very coarse Zener diode um, that keep the voltage to a maximum of approximately say 3 volts and that's normal for such a camera completely normal uh, each nickel cadmium cell uh, holds 1.2 volts so totally 2.4 volts but of course when you want to charge them the voltage must be somewhat higher and that's the reason of the four diodes so here you can see the circuit again very simple easy to make push the battery somewhat in and of course this is not a very good way neat way to make this circuit work again a piece of plywood to press the batteries down uh, somewhat slide it to one side to get the uh, the card the photo card in anyway perhaps I'm also gonna give it some silicon kit uh, but what's important the, the charge current 250 here now it charges with 100 milliampere of course keep that charge current as low as possible the batteries uh, may not overheat and here the voltage at the moment that is measured parallel to these 
to uh, nickel cadmium batteries. So, kind of poor man's solution, but it works. That's very important, of course, when you want to walk with such a camera on the street. Uh, that's a little bit a problem with all these batteries hanging around or not. Of course you can uh, decouple the whole circuit and then walk on the street and make uh, films or photos etc. Anyway, I think it's a good way to refurbish this beautiful, beautiful old camera from approximately 10 years ago. It's worth to give it a second life. And by the way, this was also a Pentax Opsio. I bought two ones. And this one also, uh, sorry, this only zooms, zooms in. So there is a kind of flaw here. Perhaps I will open it. To get to see what's going wrong. Of course, when it is all in the chip, the computer chip, it's not repairable, but perhaps there's a small bad contact or whatever. So let's power up the camera. You can see that it powers up. It tells video. The lens goes out, etc. So I hope to make some videos with this camera for YouTube anyway. Wish you luck.